Good morning. I'm just going to do a little video today because yesterday's video was a disaster. I don't know what happened to my phone, but it was doing its own thing. I'm just going to do a little video here and uh, maybe a closer look at the cattle. And how they're getting on at this stage. We're about the 27th of December. Um, let me just introduce you to a few of them. This here is a, she's a purebred shorthorn. And that's her calf there. Now this lady, she's already weaned this calf naturally. She's dried up. And you can tell because her tits are dry looking. And the hair is dry around them. So the calf hasn't been sucking there for a good while. So he's also been naturally weaned. This lady here is a springing heifer. She's never had a calf before. She's another purebred short horn. She's a nice small frame short horn. It's holding her condition very well, I think. Out on grass and a bit of silage. She's one of my favourites, to be honest with you. She's a nice handy size. She about, I don't know, 10 hundred weight in and around that. But she's due to calf now at the end of March. Um, it'll be our first calf. This is the little Galloway calf. This little Galloway heifer here is out of the Galloway over there, of course. She's still sucking. She hasn't weaned her yet. She's a first calf heifer, yeah, so she's carrying out to the short-horn bowl over there. That boy there. And she's the middle of April to be calving again. But she's still sucking at the minute, so I'll be keeping an eye to see will she wean her herself or will I have to intervene. Now this lady here, she's a Hereford. She's actually doing the worst of them. Now the reason that is, is because she's out of a Frisian. And Frisians are a little bit leggy and harder fed. So she, if I was to call, she'd be the first to go. All dependent on how she, what condition she has come April. But she's not too bad now for the breed that she is. That's her calf there. He's still sucking. So she's rearing the calf and growing the calf. She's due in April as well. You can see the tits are wet and they have been sucked. This is her calf from the year before. So that's the Whitehead's daughter. Now she's in calf this year as well. Um, she's out of a limousine. She's a nice hairy heifer. I'm fond of her now as well. She's not overly big and she holds her condition well. She never had any... <laughs> Jesus, what's wrong with this lady? She doesn't like me talking about her. She's camera shy, I suppose. What frightened her there? Wished. A frog. Look at that. There's a frog there, look. Can you see that? In there he is. Come out you, who are you? He's in there. But that frightened her, that's amazing. Now, what else is there here? Did I show you this little short horn calf? That lad there is off that small short horn heifer. I can't remember whether I spoke about him at all yet, but however, that's him. That's a bullock. He was a suck calf. I bought him as a calf. And he was reared on milk replacer, so he never did that well. He can't beat the natural cow to be rearing calves. But he was reared on powder milk. He got a couple of bags of meal when he was young, and then he was weaned to grass only. And now he's coming to, he'll be two year old in April. I'll sell him then. I won't finish him. I'll let someone else finish him. 
he's over freezing as well, but his father was a, a whitehead, Hereford. So I'm going to try and cull out any freezing genetics that's in this herd. Um, that black whitehead over there is a half sister of the bullock. She's in calf. She's doing okay. All depends on how well she holds her condition and how much of a Frisian she is or how much of a Hereford she is. That lady there is seven, eight short on. She came from Limerick. This lady came from Clare. The short horns are all from the west of Ireland. That's a half sister of hers. They're out of the one bull, different mothers, out of the same hair. They bought them two heifers off a man down in Clare. And that lady came from Kerry. The Galloways came from Galway. The bull came from Clare as well. Um, the Belgian blue, she's a Belgian blue out of a Frisian. She's a nice cow, that one. She's quiet. The Belgian blues apparently are related to the Shorthorn. They were bred off Shorthorns a couple of hundred years ago. They have the double muscle gene, so that lady would carry one, one copy of the double muscle gene. That's her calf this year out of a Shorthorn. That's a lovely heifer. She's one for the bull next year. I think that's them all now. Did I miss out on any? I don't know that I, maybe I did, but sure, look, you can see them all there, anyhow. Uh, I'm going to keep a close eye on uh, the calves, still, if they're still sucking. I haven't worked out exactly what I'm going to do for weaning, but I'd like to see them wean naturally, without any intervention. The less intervention possible, the better I find. But, uh yeah, they're very happy here now. They're grazing away that bit of grass. They'll be here now for today and then tomorrow I'll give them silage in here. And then I'll move them up the way. Onto grass and then silage. So it's one day grass, one day silage. So they're grazing away here now happily on the 27th of December. This is a wet place, but it's dry. They're not going down at all. There's lots and lots and lots of vegetation battered down, and rushes and every kind of thing. Nice woolly ground for this time of year. I'm happy. Once they're happy. So that's the story now, anyhow. Apologies for yesterday's video, it was a disaster. I should look it. I put it up anyhow. Now lady, this is the lady that likes to carry her tail up high when she goes through water. Nice and hairy, I love hairy cattle. Warm cattle. So, March and April now when they start calving. Exciting times. What will be very interesting now is the Galloway here. She's carrying to the bull, so that's the the Galloway cow, and there's the bull. I don't know what she'll throw. I'm going to separate her then once she's calved. I'm not going to allow her to be bred by the bull again. I'm going to AI her for Galloway. I'll go for purebred Galloway again. She had a heifer last this last year. Her first calf was a heifer, so I said I chance most likely she'll have a bull this year. But if she doesn't, she doesn't. But I'm gonna go purebred for her next one. So that's the story with the cattle, anyhow. I have a bit of tidying up to do with the fence in the last paddock. Put that away, and that's me done then for the day. So I'll say good luck and I'll talk to you again later. Bye bye. We're at 9 minutes 50 on this video. I'll hold off till we get to 10 minutes.
There's 10 minutes. That'll do, Grant. Right. Bye for now.